Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Longo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Just See 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Just See and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. And we have a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting and everything else that you guys do. We're very, very appreciative and grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Amin that explains what is the real Torah and angel. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. But oh, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The bulk of our people, Muslims, even learned Muslims, they really do not know what the Bible is. I have been lecturing in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Bahrain and at times those of our brethren there in the Middle East they would like to have my lectures translated. So and I hear the translator translating the subject that I had been speaking on for example what the Bible says about Muhammad. So the translator says what the Torah you know, I can understand, I can't speak Arabic, but when the man is translating, I can understand. He's saying what the Torah says about Muhammad. So I interrupt the man, I say, I didn't say Torah. So he corrects himself. He says what the Injil, in Arabic he's saying, what the Injil says about Muhammad. I said, I didn't say Injil. I said, what the Bible, Bible means a book. It comes from the Greek word Biblos. Biblos means a book. From which they get the word Bible. Holy Bible means holy book. Translate that. Holy book. Instead of saying Torah, Zabur, Injil. So what is happening is that the Muslim gets caught out before he starts by admitting that this is Torah or Zabur or Injil. The Bible is not the Torah, it's not the Zabur, it's not the Injil. Now what we believe in is we believe in four heavenly books. And we name them, we say, we believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. Furqan is the Holy Quran. Now, what is Torah? Torah is the revelation, the Wahi, that Allah Ta'ala gave to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. That is the Torah. We believe that Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was a man appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, and whatever instructions were given through him is the Torah. Whatever. Was it given in a book form? No. Allah gave by word form. Wahi. Torah Zabur. Zabur is the revelation, the Wahi. That Allah bari ta'ala gave to Hazrat Dawud We believe that what was given was from Allah. The Injil. The Injil is the revelation, the Wahi. That Allah Bari Ta'ala gave to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ. So whatever he preached was from Allah. We acknowledge it was the truth. But where is now the Torah, the Zabur and the Injil? Where are they? The New Testament. It begins. Every book, new book begins. Matthew. It says the gospel according to Saint Matthew. The gospel according to Saint Mark. The gospel according to... Saint Luke, the gospel according to Saint John. I'm asking, what is according, according, according? Why according to, according to, according to? I write little books as well, you know. But you'll find my name there by Ahmad Didat. It's not according to Ahmad Didat. If you wrote it, thinking that I had said or I meant such and such a thing, then you can say, according to Mr. Didat, you know, this is his theory. Or this is what he said. It might not be true. You might have misunderstood. But if I write a book, I put my name. Matthew didn't write his name. Mark didn't write his name. Luke didn't write his name. John didn't write his name. These are anonymous books. 
And you think, well, maybe, you know, this count can only come from Mr. Didas. So you put Didas' name. This can only come from Brother Farah Khan. So you put his name. This can only come from Brother Waris Muhammad. So you put his name. You have no right to do that. Nobody has a right to do that. You are doing injustice to the man. If he hadn't said that, you might not be quoting exact. So, according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke, according to St. John. And internal evidence shows that all said that they didn't write the book. This is what you see from the outside, on the heading. They put, the Christians put the heading. And the Bible tells us, this Bible, it tells us, Matthew tells us that Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the gospel in Arabic, in G. Gospel means the good news, translated into Arabic, in G. He went and preached the in G. Mark says he went to a certain other place and he preached the in G. Gospel. Luke tells us that he went to a certain place and he preached the Injil gospel, Injil. And John tells us that Jesus went to a certain other place and he preached the gospel, Injil. I'm asking, did he carry a book around under his arm, under his arm? Did he? Injil? That he, every time he took it out? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Is that what he was doing? No. Whatever revelation Wahi Allah gave him, that is the Injil. Now they tell you, the Christians themselves, you don't have to do any homework with regards to the Bible. You don't have to make any new discoveries. Whatever they gave you, learn from them and use it. They tell you now, they translate the Bible, the New Testament, into Arabic. They have for the Arabs 11 different Arabic Bibles. I have samples of them. 11 different. I thought there was only one Arabic language. But I'm now told that there are 11 different dialects. And every dialect group is says, look, we got it for you. You are Palestinian, we got it for you. What are you? Moroccan, we got it for you. Tunisian, we got it for you. Southern Sudan, we got it for you. What are you? Syrian, we got it for you. 11 different Bibles for the Arabs alone. In Arabic, different dialects. So the Arabic translation, the book begins. It says, Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile Lucas, Injile Yohanna. Right, right. We accept you say Injile, Matthew, Marcus, Lucas, Johannes. Okay. I said, where is Injile Isa? <laughs> Look, we believe. What did we say? We say we believe in the Injil. When we say Injil, it is a revelation, the Wahi given to Hazrat Isa. That is what we believe. Not one given, to, if at all. If given to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Who are they? Who is Paul, Peter and James? Who are they? We are made to accept the Izawahi Allah gave to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Injile Isa. Bring it. And we will give it a sympathetic consideration. If it is from Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. But these are not the works of Isa alayhi salam. Can you see? Look, they are telling you. Why must you go out of your way and say, this is the Torah, this is the Injil, this is the Zabur, and you get caught up with it? No, it's lack of knowledge. Now, all this information is available very freely. In a book called, Is the Bible God's Word? Published by me. We give it out free. I sent out 10,000 to your great country from, from South Africa. Like I said, I really like the way he explained things and he went further to say, a lack of knowledge that's something that we should sleep on because we lack so much knowledge like i said pe people are thinking for us we should question some of these things that happen like he said he thought there was only one arabic language but why have it in 11 different types if it's just the same language i don't understand where they're going with all that i understand today the world we're living in everything is now business business which they really don't care that's why we as people sometimes should learn to question the actions of these people that print out these books why should we have different things what are they trying to do why create confusion when already confused otherwise i don't even know what to say but otherwise lack of knowledge sometimes is not the best thing even if you lack knowledge today there's always chance that you want to be woke sometimes. You can only be woke if you go out there and read. Reading really helps change your perspective on things. Other than reading, you can mingle and have a conversation with people that 
want to think beyond what we've been given otherwise let me know what you think about this love I mean that as usual and thank you for this reaction make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video